Good morning and welcome to the video. I really hope that waking up at this time on a Sunday morning is worth it. You ask yourself, why am I awake at this time on a Sunday morning? Well, all week I have been cycling to work through the lovely Bushy Park, which is one of the royal parks. And at this time of the year, particularly in September and around November time, there is a deer cull, so there's a huge amount of deer roaming around and first thing in the morning they look absolutely awesome. I haven't had the chance on my way to work to stop and take many photos, but a quick photo with my phone, which really inspired me to make the effort to get out there with a the proper camera and a big lens. Even more inspiring, I've managed to snag myself a little go on a 70-200 2.8 G Master lens this morning. So that's super excited me to try and get in as close as possible to the deer. And then there may even be a little bit of fog promised this morning so all round i'm hoping for a good time on the camera in all honesty i have to confess i bailed on this mission yesterday morning saturday morning because well my bed was just more comfortable but this morning we're up the coffee is made i'm gonna have a little pedal down to bushy park and try and capture some pictures of these lovely animals in the lovely bushy park if you've watched any of my other videos it's my favorite park so come along with me for the ride i will try and get some behind the scenes and show you what we can get with the sony a7c and the 70 to 200 g master beast let's go Here we go. I can smell deer, I can see deer, and I can hear deer. There we go. Already on the move. Lens acquired. Ooh. Okay, shoot complete, 100% worth getting up early on a Sunday morning. I never regret getting up for a photo shoot. Really, really enjoyed using the 70-200. It was perfect for trying to pick out the deer from the background and highlight their features. In all honesty, there were some proper wildlife photographers there and they really had the big boy lenses, they had some 600s and I think they probably would be the ideal lens. But seeing as I'm a bit of a pretend wildlife photographer, the 70-200 was a real treat stopped it down to 2.8, tried to blur the background and get some nice compositions. I am covered now, probably, in deer poo from kneeling on the ground. Had a quick coffee and I'm shooting home. One of those shoots I absolutely can't wait to get back and see what I got. So I hope you enjoyed the B-roll because I got a few video clips there as well. I thought they looked awesome. And I cannot wait to show you the photos now. So let's go upload and edit. Okay, so here are the final images with a little POV as well. I had a great time out with that 70 to 200. It really helped me to pick out the deer from the background. And once I'd worked out how I was getting them in focus and finding out where they were hanging out, it was all about trying to find good compositions and backgrounds. I tried a little bit of shooting down low. Um, I was looking for a nice clean background so that the deer didn't blend in because that's what they try to do. So you need to try and capture them in gaps with that nice background there behind them in between those trees or just zoom in as close as you can you can't get too close to them because they get a little bit frisky um, 
also try and get them in the in the wide open where the light is really nice to pick out those rich colors in the deer there was a lot of wildlife photographers there with big 600 millimeter lenses maybe next time we'll have a go on those but for this time around i was pretty pleased with the result and it was a great experience to get out there and try some type of photography that i don't normally do but i definitely encourage you to pick up the camera if you can get your hands on a different lens it's really good fun and keeps things nice and fresh and if you do live near a park there's lots of deer at the moment to go and capture and i will look forward to seeing you in the next video